Welcome. You are about to experience a completely different, new and exciting way to teach reading intervention. RAVO is an incredibly unique, small group reading intervention for the students in our elementary grades. Now, RAVO is the latest breakthrough, the cutting edge of reading research. With the extraordinary technology, the functional MRI scientists, even reading researchers, are now able to watch the neural systems within the brain as the child reads. This research is now available for classroom use. And because of these resources, teachers now have the opportunity to focus instruction on training the young brain to build up and connect multiple levels of knowledge. The RAVO program goes far beyond the typical decoding and phonological program to address three overarching goals. To increase the child's ability not only to read fluently, but to read accurately with comprehension. To expand the child's knowledge of our English language, in other words, to understand how our English language works. But most importantly of all, to rejuvenate the child's relationship with text and actually identify themselves as true readers. Now, before we get started, I would like to introduce you to the creator of RAVO, Dr. Marianne Wolf. Dr. Marianne Wolf is a professor and the director of the Center for Reading and Language Research at Tufts University. It all began with 15 years of research in a book called Proust and the Squid. Dr. Marianne Wolf, author of Proust and the Squid, along with her colleagues, developed this incredible intervention program called RAVO. I strongly encourage you all to read this amazing book as you begin your journey in teaching reading intervention. You will have a completely different mindset on why students struggle to read. The book begins with one simple statement. We were never born to read. Human beings invented reading only a few thousand years ago. Our brain was never wired to read. Reading is not a natural process. Now, our brain was originally designed for vision, language, and cognition. Reading must be taught. It must be learned. It's a process, but it's not an easy process. Teaching children to read is not an easy task. As Dr. Louisa Moat says, teaching reading truly is rocket science. And how interesting is this? Despite the fact that it took our ancestors 2,000 years to develop the alphabetic code, our children are expected to gain the same knowledge in about 2,000 days, about the age of six or seven. And if they don't acquire these skills on our educational system schedule, a label is placed on them and they will never feel the same about themselves. But the good news is, with the functional images of the brain, it is now possible for scientists to watch the neural systems at work as they translate letters into sounds and find out really what's not happening in the brain with our struggling readers.